how to create collections on shopify step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can create collections of your products on shopify to organize your store and for customers so that they can browse your different categories and collections that you have created and buy your products so let's get into it first of all you're gonna open up your shopify store and you will get right here this is our main admin uh, i have a store on shopify that i just created and i'll show you how to organize your products better and create collections so uh, first of all if you do not have an account on shopify you can create one using your email address shopify is an amazing platform that allows you to create your online store you can sell your products you can do drop shipping so once you have a store on shopify you will have different products so i'm going to take you to the product section here you can see i have added two products now i can add more products here and let's say these are actually two very related products but i'm going to add another one very quickly so let's add a product here and then we will add, uh, we will divide our products into categories. So I'm just going to quickly create a product here. So you can see I have added more products on my Shopify store. Uh, now these kind of product are pretty different. We have two hoodies here, then I have a dress, I have a t-shirt. These are completely different categories that I sell and different collections that I created so how to actually uh, display that on my store for that you can see we have the product section here and under products we have collections so you just have to go to the collections right here now we have a home page collection already created this is the kind of uh, uh you know collection that is uh, default and it's shown in our home page to create a new collection you will get the option right here you can see at the top it says create collection click on it and now we have to create a collection here give your collection a name this one is actually a winter hoodies so this is what the collection is called now i'm going to add some description so once you've added the description you can move on to the collection type so here we have to select a manual add a product to this uh, collection one by one or automated so i'm going to actually go to the manual here and we can select different uh you know products or what we can do is uh, we can select a condition so i will go to the manual here and then we have our search engine which says the winter hoodies and this is our you know domain so here we have the collection availability point on sale or online store so i will be selling it on my online store here collection image so we can add an image for the collection that's what i'm going to do i'm going to click on add image and select the image from my computer so this is the collection image it represents what we have in the collection and then we have the online store now you have to click on save and a collection will be created so this is our first collection that we created and it is known as winter hoodies i'm going to create another you can see i haven't added any product yet we will add the products from this section here let's create another collection which is going to be for summer so i'm just going to go with summer collection this is going to be the name now the process is similar we have to enter the description we have to enter the collection type which is going to be manual or automated then we have some conditions we have our collection image collection availability and we have to select the store so i'm going to quickly you know fill it in just like we did for the uh, winter collection and our new collection for summer will be created when it comes to adding a product in the collection what we can do is we can also go with the automated here existing and future products that match the conditions so if you do not want to add products manually you can go with the automated here such as the product tag so let's say if a product has the tag of let's say any title such as it has uh somewhere in its uh you know title then it will be added right here is equal to we can enter an amount and then we will enter the condition here uh, but for me i like to go with the manual because i don't have much products in my store we will click on save and a new collection will be created so now we have two collections we have a winter collection and we have a summer collection created for our store now we're going to go to the products here so in products we will select the product we want to add first i'm going to select these two hoodies these are my two products and now we have this option bulk edit set as active set as draft and we have three dots click on these three dots and you'll get the option of add to collection Click on add to collection and now we have three collections created. We had the home page, summer and winter. So we're going to select the winter one here. Click on save and these two products will be added to the winter hoodie collection that we just created. Now I'm going to select the other products such as this red t-shirt which is a summer product and then we have this summer dress. Again we're going to click on these three dots. Click on add to collection and this time I will be selecting my summer collection. Click on save and these products will be added to the summer collection. 
So if I take you back to my collections now, you will be able to see the number of products we have. So my winter hoodie collection has two products right here. You can see if I open it up, it will showcase the products now. So it has two products here and this is the product list. I can browse, we can sort. So this is how the product list is created. And if I go back and show you the summer collection, so open up the summer collection. And again, it has these two products that we just created. These collections can be uh, shown on your website, on your store that you have. So for that, we actually go to the uh, store. Here we have online store and we can open it up. So you can see here, uh, we can customize our Shopify store and we have our ad section. So what we do is we click on the ad section here and it allows us to add a collection. So you can see collection list. So I'm going to select it. And now you can see we have a collection list added here. It will show the all of the collections that we have in our store, um, such as the summer collection and the winter collection we just created. So this is how uh, we create collections within our Shopify store. Similarly, with the products, you can also keep track of your inventory and make sure uh, that you have the right products in a collection. Uh, it also depends on the status. You can customize the product right here in the product section and then you can go to the collections. If you want to delete a collection, then it's actually really easy. You can select the collection from here and then we have edit collection, uh, make collection available. We have these three dots and it gives you the option to delete a collection. Uh, if you want to edit a collection, you can do that anytime you want want to you just select again click on edit and it will open it up for you the total number of products will be shown right here and then we have this plus button that allows you to create a view so you can actually create different types of views you can add different types of filters and you can sort your collections very easily uh, then again if you want to create a brand new collection you can just click on create collection and we can create multiple collections within our shopify store so it's actually really easy first you will create the collections here and then you can select the products and add them to your desired collection and they will be added and your customers will be able to browse your products easily and buy them so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question 